Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a more difficult example of the sum of two cubes. Uh, so just a reminder of the formula for the sum of two cubes. So it's a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. The example that we're going to look at today is 54a to the 4 plus 432ab cubed. Now when you look at this first, um, it doesn't really look like a sum of two cubes question. But we can factorise out a highest common factor of 54a. So I'll take 54a outside the brackets and I'll be left with a cubed plus 432 divided by 54 is going to give me 8 and then b cubed. So now inside the brackets I have something that looks a lot more like uh, the different or the sum of two cubes. Now I can rewrite this again as 54a times a cubed plus 2b cubed. Because 2b times 2b times 2b is 8b cubed. Now I can go ahead and use my formula here. So I'll have 54a outside the brackets and then I'll have the first plus the second. So that's a plus 2b. Then in the next set of brackets, I'm going to have the first squared. So that's a squared minus the first times the second. So minus a times 2b and then plus the second squared. So plus 2b squared. Now I'm nearly done. I just need to tidy up inside in here. So that's going to give me 54a times a plus 2b times a squared minus 2ab plus 4b squared. And I'll just put brackets around this 54a as well. So I have my three factors of 54a to the 4 plus 432ab cubed. That's factorized as 54a times a plus 2b times a squared minus 2ab plus 4b squared. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Uh, if you click this link here, that will bring you to um, a more difficult example of the difference of two cubes. Thank you. See you next time.